What's good? It's your boy Sheen. What's he? And we are jumping back into the bear season three. First episode was amazing. We loved it. Really enjoyed this. So we can't wait to jump back into this one. If you guys want to see the previous reactions, head over to our Patreon. Our Patreon has tons of content over there. So if you want to get some exclusives, uncut reactions, and a bunch more, you can head over to the Patreon and sub up. We also got a link in the, in the description for our Discord. So if you want to chat it up about the bear or any other series, you can do so within the Discord. Or you can jump over to our Patreon and join as a free member. But without further ado, let's jump back into the bear. Let's get it. Did you hear me knocking? Yep, I heard you the first three times. So you heard the knocks? It's my bathroom time! But what if I miss my bathroom time? Well, that's not how bathroom time works. I need my bathroom time now! Dad! Stop. What about to do to herself? We went to Ricky's no. to work and stop. I ate too many. Dad, stop! <laughs> so gross. Um, I'll bring you home food from work, okay? Uh huh. So, like, don't go to Ricky's anymore. Okay, I'm going to work. Can you put my toothbrush back, please? Yes, chef. <laughs> Hit her with the yes, chef. Ooh, ten pounds lighter. Oh, oh my god. You got holes in your sleeves? I'm gonna kill you. What a dude, that John dirty. I did that a couple times today, man. <laughs> Stupid reasons, but I'm trying to explain them. Just hold my head. Rowan, that's tough. Let's get where you hit the ground. I'm guessing these are like real restaurants they went into. Don't run away. Don't run away. And them boys a fresh cut. Yeah, that was hard. Fridge? Yes, please. You wanna go burn one? No, I quit. Since when? Since last night. What's that, smoking? Fuck this fancy fuck. I want my shit. Okay, um... Yeah, we can open it tomorrow. Remember when we were kids? Yeah, slicing bread. Wiping tables. Felt like we could have done anything. Probably a little different for you. You knew what you wanted to do. So, you were like... This, and we were like... Hey, good morning. Hi. Hi. I said hi. Did I not say something? Did you call Richie? I want to know about Claire. Yeah. Carm. Good morning. Good morning. So, how long have you been here? I'm good. Yeah? Yeah, focused. Okay. You? Great. Wish I had fidgeting again. Yeah. It's not great 8 a.m. stuff. You got me. You look way more stressed this season. I wish I could just push a button and get the baggage put away. That's like 4 p.m. stuff. Mm -hmm. I told you. <laughs> Morning. 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 Boy. Non negotiable. Uh, That's bro. how we do this correctly. That's how restaurants of the highest caliber operate. You good? We gotta be excellent every day. Okay? Can you type those up and, and print out a bunch? Bear. Please. Sugar, I love you, but. Sometimes just listen to what my man gotta say and just do it. Instead of questioning it every time. Why do we need a new cryovac? Well, it's a better cryovac. Better how? What are you asking me? To stop spending my fucking money. Don't think I'm not seeing these fancy new earthenware fucking Hers, plates. thank you. Personal hygiene, know your shit, break down all boxes before putting them in dumpster. No surprises, never repeat ingredients, change menu every day. Yes. Why are you doing this? I can't waste that much time. Some part of my heart just broke. It's a good thing, Dad. It's a good mm -hmm. thing. Called in to try and get your order, but they said you was back in the in the fridge yelling at yourself. Thank you. Morning said, tasty hey. shit list. Why you do that? Yeah, like bro. Where's Cicero, man? Carm. Hey. Hi. What is this? It's uh R and D. You redid everything. Yeah, well, I uh, I subtracted and, and, and I pushed. Okay, you want to spell out for me what exactly you subtracted and what exactly you pushed? Sid, we're going to get a star. 
Your cook was excellent, by the way. Thank you, but you still changed all my shit. It's our shit. Right, I'm gonna change it every day. The cavatelli or the, the, the raviolo? Everything. We're gonna change everything every day? <clears throat> yes. I uh, made a list, sugar. Why? So they can see what we're capable of. Who's they? Yeah, he's tweaking right now. Is a partnership agreement. You, me, Nat. There's a vetting schedule. Vesting. Vesting schedule. schedule. Thank okay, you. Okay, and what does that say? How much of this place you're gonna own? Bro, oh, nah, he's dead ass. Like, we really in now. You okay? I feel like I've been here an hour. Yeah, it's um, it's a lot. You gotta think if you feel like that in five minutes, think about how he felt this whole time. So that I can push you, and you can push me. That's what you wanted, right? You quitting smoking? I'm trying. Yes. Have you talked to Richie yet? Because Ebra, Carmen. Sid's face is be the last. Explain, Carmen. That's a bunch of stuff. Oh, that's great. Good job. It's a bunch of stuff that's gonna make this place more efficient. This is the list of things that you made. Yes. You also made a docusign. I don't um, have a lawyer. I think I know one. Yes, you do. Who? Pete. Pete. Okay. Constantly evolve through passion and creativity. They keep reading that line. That's all plus means. Good morning, team. I'm wearing a How's suit again. Feeling? But he didn't have him on a docusign now. That's kind of crazy. Hey, Chef Sid, have you seen my iron? Also, when you have a stick, would you ask Chef Carmen what the fuck he did with my tables out front? Uh, Chef Sid, would you please tell Richard that I thought I would set him up for success? Zero flow, uh, no efficiency, looked like shit, so I thought I'd give you a hand. <laughs> would you tell Chef Carmen that I can give him a fucking hand if he, he wants? He wants to give me a fucking hand, he can give me a fucking hand. I'll give you a fucking hand. Go ahead, give me a fucking hand. Go ahead. Yeah, fucking hand. I just might suggest that, that the both of you stop. Chef Carmen uses power phrases because he's a baby replicant who's not self-actualized. Richie, I apologize. No, 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 it's all good. I don't need your apology. I know how you feel now. Damn. Damn. Screaming at me while I was in the Like, breeze. I love you? No. Nope. What? <laughs> you know what? I'm keeping our shit separate from this shit like a goddamn G. Okay. The four tops in the first I moved place, the dog. flowers because, you Jesus Christ, that was a lot of flowers. Guys, Those flowers are yeah. elegant. You can't fucking keep apologizing. Shit. And you're screaming. Sure, you want to get the it's fuck out of my face, Carmen? you both Carmen? shut the fuck up. Textbook sublimation. Seen it once, you've seen it a thousand times. I actually don't know what the fuck to do right now. Oh my god, am I finally having a stroke? Can you? He's so annoying. Yeah. What the hell? Yelling. Am I having a stroke? It's the lights. the lights. Facts are on the way. That's plural facts. How many facts? At least two, less than five. Yes, Richie. What's shoot. this ass? Those are non-negotiables. Are you not familiar with that phrase? Stop. It says it right Stop. on the top of the Stop. You. Uh-uh. Nothing from you. What the fuck are non-negotiables? Richie, I I wish I could tell you. They are on the page. You may read them for yourself. Mm-hmm. You gotta read the same line. Something like vibrant collaboration? I mean, that can get fucked, right? No, you can get fucked. No, no, no. You get fucked. Uh, I'm sorry. I think you can get fucked. No, no, you can get fucked. Bro, they're so Yo. annoying. Shut up. Also, when I see something like change menu every day, I mean, for lack of a better word, that is fucking demented. They are non-negotiables. They're not to be negotiated. I'm already negotiating that half some of these Stop are complete bullshit. Me. I'm sorry, I forgot that you worked in a three-star restaurant for 10 Stop. minutes. Stop. These are goals. No, no, Res no, 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 because they're not goals, okay? They are musts. They He's starting to sound like the guy he used to work for. Mm -hmm. You don't think I can do it? Are you for real right now? Yes. <laughs> okay. I think you manage in a miraculous way to, go home. to make this about yourself. And I think both of you have been yelling for the past 10 minutes and are giving me a migraine at the base of my fucking skull. Oh my gosh, now they're in. They're about to just make it worse. Am I stroking? Let's go, boys. Yeah. Pick some light, send out some vibes. The vibe's up there, too. Why is everybody right? standing around? It seems bad. Not bad. We're fine. What is this? Non -negotiable. Non -negotiable. Non-negotiable. Open your mouth. Yeah? Good. So that would be that. Bro, bro. I hope it works, but it feels like it's not. 8.09 a.m. Snap keys. 8.15 a.m. I'm trapped in a prison of Ted, my you own. You have to design. do that right fucking there. This right here. Lights right here, Carl. Huh? Maniac. Sorry. Sorry. This is going to force everybody I to. I apologize to you. Be on the same, like, chaos that uh, Carmi's on right now. Yeah, not her mind is racing. That's right. not what I said, okay? I was just trying to be honest. Ran away from I didn't know it. how to respond to all the crazy shit you were saying to me. I think some of these non-negotiables, you need to Tina do some Oh, yeah? You tell me. Oh, Changing the menu every day? It's bad. To me, it's that bad. sounds a little bit like running away. Okay, fuck you. Tina, tell him to stop.
You two gotta chill this shit out. And what's Thank with the you. menu change? Every day, Jeffrey Ballet? Yes, every day, Tina. Is that kind of crazy? It's not crazy. In order to do it, T, you're in charge of Farmer's Market. Yes. Oh, I like it. Corn, straight up. 365 days a year is crazy. Hey, this is still I'm crazy. Not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not saying you're crazy, Bear. <laughs> Ask Claire if he's crazy. <sighs> he shouldn't have did that. Yeah. He crossed the line. Like, come on. I saw Claire Burr. Jesus Christ. What? Yeah. Where? Out of friends? No. Ted? You hey, yelling to Ted, work? go. It's all good. All good. It's all good? You gotta push him off the fucking ladder. It just seems a little impossible for it to be like all good. Yeah, it's impossible that it's all That's good. Richie, shut up. Like, bro, Richie Please. ain't even do nothing. Like, why did they bring Ted in here in the first place? Why are you fixing the fucking light? He ain't fixing shit. Not good with her, Carl. Okay. Like, it's not it right now. Like, it's, 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 you're dusted. <laughs> you're, like, you're a little, like, sweep his ass up, like, dusted. Like, I got it. Anything like what you said okay? to me, that's fucking... I got it. God! In the light. They were in such a good spot, bro. It's Carmi right now making shit worse, though. Fuck you, Richie. Okay, okay. Fuck you, okay? Yeah. Claire. Got it. So what are we saying about Claire Burr? Ask fucking Chef Carmen. Chef Carmen? What did you do? Why do you have to say it like that? Oh, uh, trust me. I have to ask it like that. Yes. Morning, Chef. Chef. Gary. Oh, my, my guy Gary slipped in. He's going to tell us what he said to Claire. Uh, has anybody checked in on Marcus yet? Or, uh... Um... Yeah, I tried to. Uh, okay, you, what, what, what happened with Claire? She overheard him talking in the fridge, and we're just trying to figure out what it is he said. How do you know this? Does everybody know this? Group chat, bro. What'd you say, Carm? I said that I thought it was all a waste of time. Because? Because I am who I am. Yikes. OK, who cares? Let's get some work done, huh? I actually agree. Well, yes. then I actually take it back. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, bro. Now I got to get the last one in. Annoying. Daniela, Quit, and Connor, and Joey, what? and Amy. The fuck are Joey and Amy? Servers. servers. Why'd they quit? Yeah, why'd they quit? Because they didn't want to work in a, quote, dysfunctional kitchen. Oh, my. They already lost four people? Okay. I'm going to wine school at the Quartermaster. I come too? No. You don't like wine, sweetie. Aren't you allergic to grapes? Obviously. How are you going to taste the wine? Well. <laughs> like, bro, he's annoying. Uh, it's nine courses, so 175 bucks plus tip. Thank you. Fine. Good. Don't. You can say it. No, don't say yeah, it. Please yes, don't say you it. can say don't it. Don't say it. Actually, I think it's a good price. Great. So carry on. Still fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah. I go see a play. The actors are bullshit. I don't pay. I'm them. sorry. Do you go to a lot of theater, Richard? I can't with you. I. Oh shit. Nobody has to say anything. I just want to work. I just want to be here with y'all and not think about it for a second. Cool. What's this? Are we fucking arguing? Any two. Get back to work. Yeah. Um. T. Let's go to the farmers market together. Okay. He never seen Marcus like this. But this just shows, bro, everybody's going through some shit right now. Yeah. They lost four people already, bro. We got about eight hours of service. Chef. Chef. That shit was, and that joint was a long, another long ass shot. Yeah. Oh yeah, there was, no was no cuts. I just not noticed that. That don't be feeling so real. And so you like, you don't really lose your interest or focus on what's going on. Like I know that list probably looks crazy. But to me. Just ask him how he is, man. He said he don't want to talk. Man. You said you don't want to talk about it, and and I get that. But I just wanted you to know that some of us here, we uh, we probably know how you're feeling. You know, instead of of not dealing with it, try to um. Is that what you did? No. No. I'm just, I'm here. You know? If you need anything, I'm here. Yeah, because he nailed, they, he knows everybody took that hit with Mikey. Mm -hmm. I was here when she died. And I, uh, I feel terrible. No, I mean, that is a good thing. I think that's how it was supposed to be. Damn. She wanted me to be with y'all. This is what's up now. This place has got to work. And I need you to do something for me. Yeah, name it. Take us there, Bear. Damn. Oh.
That hit. Nah, he's locked in now. Like, yes, chef. <sighs> that hit. That yes, chef right there. That hit. Nah, that hit. What the bro that hit. All right, yeah, that was the end of episode two right there. That was a hectic epi uh, episode. We got a lot. We see that Carmi is basically changing everything that they're doing. He's kind of going through that Claire situation. He's putting all his attention to work to try and forget about it. Like Richie was saying, like, deal with it. Instead of just hiding, coming in here all day and working, like, go out there and confront Claire and tell her how you feel. I don't think Carmi's going to do that. I just think he's going to bury himself in the work, which is going to... It's gonna come with benefits for the restaurant, but I think that's gonna come with some con like negative consequences for him. Overloading on work, being too stressed out, and then not having that person to lean on in that situation is what's gonna really be his downfall if he doesn't, you know, fix that side of his life. So if he wants the kitchen to run well, he's gonna have to fix all sides of his life and let it be balanced in a way if he doesn't it's just going to continue to create chaos throughout work and his his uh regular life but like me and Swizz were saying at the end right there marcus that line with take us there bear was you know really a heartfelt line coming from marcus because he's been the one that's been so focused on carmy's work and trying to learn from him that carmy's like all right if anybody's putting their trust in me like Marcus, if he's gonna do it, I really gotta make sure this this works because he's been he's been the one that's been trying to I think progress the most in the show. It's I think it's between him and Sid. Like Richie's up there now, but um, he's been doing a lot just to get better at his craft. So can't wait to see what next episode holds. A uh, beautiful long one shot again, like Swizz was saying after the re reaction. And yeah, man, the bear, good as always beginning of the season that they said like the first and second episode is showing just how like everybody's personal lives is coming together and it's affecting how the restaurant is running like what she said i feel like carmy's trying to run away from the whole situation that's been happening with him especially like the opening night how he was how he was so like stressed about everything and then he ends up being locked in the freezer not having that control that he always felt like he was chasing especially on the opening night with like family and stuff there claire was there but at the end of the day he just got to realize like even though he wasn't really a part of that he was still a part of the whole process because like he worked everybody he trained everybody he put that standard up and everybody was able to continue to push through even though he wasn't there like the ship ran without him so he just gotta understand like if that shit happened he can't do nothing about that no more and he shouldn't let it affect him in the way that it is but like it's always easier said than done when it comes to situations like that so yeah. it's gonna be a little weird between everybody like marcus mom um sid she's gonna be stressed now because like she's basically like the person carmy comes to Carmi's all over the place. Him and Richie situation. Um, Tina really, she obviously she excited for what's to come. Just overall, like if the person that's running everything gets out of whack and like he said, changing the menu every day, that's a big thing. Because you want to memorize the uh, menu, but then have that creativity to be able to change certain things. Um, I don't think it's really that smart. It's like you got those people that come in and want the same thing. Like we go to this one restaurant, like I get the same thing every time we go there and it's like if i went there every time and it was different or something was like misplaced about it or they changed their ingredient like it's hard to like i just rather go to a different restaurant at that point yeah, that's so, facts. if you enjoyed their action man make sure you like the video comment down below so your thoughts on subscribe and the bell icon to know if i direct this video by the time you guys get this on youtube um yeah i just will be getting um season two episode one i'm just following week that's coming up so if you want to get this whole season We'll be done by it by the time you guys even get to like episode five. So love y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. To the next video. The kids reacted.